Very good, in fact. Um, today was a really tough game. We knew it would be really tough. Um, but look, it's three points that help us move again. We keep up with the leading pack, and obviously we know we have the games in hand. But also, you know, this game was really tough because playing against our opponents today is hard because, you know, I don't want to be too critical, but I think we all know that our opponents today probably have the biggest budget in Kenyan football. You know, they're spending close to a million dollars every year, and I don't see much football being played. It's hard to play against, you know, it's almost like anti-football. It's, it's long ball, it's long ball, and sometimes you expect this from teams down towards the bottom of the league with less talent but you know we come into this game and you know it's hard to play against that and I just sort of wonder I think it's good for Kenyan football that we won because we tried to play football there was 20 minutes in the second half where maybe we got drawn into their game of playing long ball but we especially after the the water break in the second half we reminded the guys you got to play football and again we started playing football we started passing and moving the ball a bit and that's what created the situation for the penalty and so football was what won us the game and you know the bits where we struggled in the game was where we got drawn into that sort of anti-football that direct football and we've got to keep reminding the players that it's not just about winning i think the teams who have history and maybe a little bit of finance have a responsibility to try and play football that maybe the supporters want to come and watch so i'm very pleased um, that the boys see that once again that they don't have to buy into maybe these negative sort of long ball tactics and that actually by playing football by passing and moving the ball look i'm not saying we're barcelona we're not barcelona by any means we've got a long way to go but we've got players who can play football and i'm i'm really pleased for the guys that again it evidences them that if we have confidence in our talent that we can go a long way this season. Coach Robert Montana said uh, the referee is the one who decided the game. What's your take on that? Well, I, I don't know what specific decisions because it's clearly a penalty. I think everyone sees the handball. If anyone's saying it's not a handball, then you know maybe I wear my glasses to make sure that I can see things correctly. Um, so. Yeah, it's definitely a handball, and you know, other than that, I thought it was very harsh in the first half. You know, Sydney getting a yellow card. You know, maybe I'll watch it again. Maybe he does. I don't know, but I thought it was harsh. But yeah, I thought it was a physical game. You know, Tusker make the game very physical, so you got to be ready for that. But the boys coped up well with it. No injuries, and um, yeah, we're pleased. A few shots on target, especially in the second half. I think only one shot in the penalty. Um, what else do you need to do in order to create more chances, clear cut chances? Yeah, well, again, look, it's hard. A big part of our game, I think t players who are supporters and media who come and watch games see that we like to try and go and press the ball. We like to commit. You know, if you watch Gore of recent seasons, it was more of a low block. They sat on the edge. They tried to play counterattack. Whereas this season, we've tried to step up a little bit, try and get the defensive line closer to the halfway line when we're out of possession, and really try and, you know, almost in that Borussia Dortmund, Red Bull, Man City style of going and pressing the game. It's difficult to win the ball back when the opposition don't take touches or don't play passes. If the first thing they do is launch the ball 70 meters, it's hard to win the ball back um, high up the field. And so, yeah, there wasn't so many chances today. But look, the key thing is taking them. That's that's the big thing. You know, I, I thought we were well worth the win today. Um, had it been a draw, I definitely would have been very disappointed because I think we did enough to win the game. Three points, uh, one point behind Zoya with a game in hand. Uh, should we say that you're definitely in the title race? Two games in hand. Um, so two games in hand in Zoya. But look, I think there's no doubt denying when you're up, what, 13, 14 games into the season, up in that mix. But it's only a third of the way through the season. But I also think today, look, Gore, Kogalo, we finished last year with 58 points after 34 games. Already after, what, 14 games, we're at 30 points. So we're over halfway to our points total from last season. So for us, it's very much, can we do better than last season? Can we, we've got a specific points target for the overall season that we're aiming for, that we think will have us in the conversation at the end of the season. But look, you've seen, after at Christmas time, if someone had said to you that our opponents today would go on a run of seven, eight games and only win one game, you would probably have laughed at them and say, no, no, they've won like six, seven games in a row. Of course, that's not going to happen. So anything can happen in football. We are in a great run of form at the moment. We're trying everything we can to keep the players in good condition so that they can maintain that run of form. But football's a funny game, you know. Suddenly, you maybe get a disappointing result or you get an injury or a suspension, and you do maybe 
maybe lose one or two games. So we've got to constantly guard against that. There's, what, another 20 games in the season to go. And there's going to be more twists and turns. I think you're seeing this is probably going to be the most competitive KPL title race in a long, long time. You're probably expecting at least four teams um, to be in it. And Zoya are doing fantastically well. Police are on a great run of form. Obviously, Tusker will come back strong. Um, and even our old friends across the city at AFC, you know, have a bit of talent in their ranks. So in KCB as well, you know, there's five teams who will all be thinking we can be in the conversation at the end of the season. So we've just got to keep doing the right things.